slowly towards red. Continue on down. Don't stop descending. Good. Look all the way to the end of the runway. Continue descending. Continue descending. Just about to touch down. Let yourself come down. You're on the ground and I'm freezing you. Freeze. <laughs> Randy, a new generation of airplanes probably demanded a new generation of simulators. Can you tell us about uh, what you're using right now as a primary flight training device for the Eclipse 500 program? Sure. Eclipse Aviation has an affinity for new technology and the uh, simulators are no exception. Uh, what you see behind us is the first generation of electromechanical legs. It's not hydraulics that most people are used to uh, in most simulators. So it's a little bit quieter. Uh, we don't have the aroma of hydraulic fluid. It's a lot cleaner and it's really quite smooth. In addition to that, Apinicus, our simulator manufacturer, used really state-of-the-art laser projection systems, which gives some of the most realistic visual scenes that any of our customers have ever seen, right down to the traffic on the roads, the uh, turbulence in uh, mid-layer clouds, and of course all of the uh, obvious cloud levels, night visuals, all of that. How was this technology selected and where does it go from here? Well, we briefed between, uh, or we sought proposals from a variety of simulator manufacturers. Um, Eclipse sought uh, some new vendors in a lot of their business in the aircraft, and we did that in the simulators. In the case of Apinicus, this was one of the real win-win situations where it was a step up for them the first time that they were doing in a completely new aircraft, and they were really ready for the challenge and, and rose to the occasion. Apinicus has a whole host of various platforms available for training in the Eclipse 500 from a flat panel screen to other part task trainers and we're in discussions with them about additional devices that we might uh, procure from them in the future. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics and all the Cirrus safety features you expect including the Cirrus airframe parachute system with its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. Tell us a little bit about the visuals in this uh, system. Well, uh, we uh, have 16 airports that have a very high fidelity visual system that's done using satellite photography. So I haven't actually flown over my house, but some of the guys that live here in Albuquerque have actually been able to locate their residences. So it's that accurate of a projection. Then for j other sites uh, worldwide, we can dial in the aircraft airport identifier and we get a generic airport setting with uh, runways that are aligned and the correct length for the database for that airport. This is about as smooth a simulator as I have ever flown. I have to assume that that's something you wanted right from the beginning. Absolutely, and although it's something that's expected of a jet aircraft, if you look at the Eclipse 500's price point, you're talking about a lot of turboprop or light twins that didn't necessarily have level D technology to train in. So we're very happy about the training experience that these devices provide. What does it take to, to support a device like this? This is not something that you just kind of run in in the morning, turn on the switch and uh, kick the, well, not the tires, but kick the base and go fly. Actually, it's almost that easy. Uh, they're really quite dependable. Uh, we've had one powder outage and a few other uh, small things, but believe it or not, the most challenging technology in the simulator is the seats. The in, the out, the constant movement uh, <laughs> tends to wear those out at a ha higher rate than we do in the aircraft. But Apinicus has a staff of personnel, of technicians on site to help us get the simulators back in the air, uh, back in operation if anything does happen. You've heard of this thing called WAS, right? The Wide Area Augmentation System lets you fly GPS glide path approaches without relying on ground-based landing aids. No VOR, no ILS, no problem. Fact is, WAS is so smart, it even knows what you're going to say next time you need it. And don't have it on board. Wah! Wah! I want my WAS now! I was really crying there for a second. And finally, how long does it take to install something? I was out here and, and watched uh, one system that at that point had gone, uh, had at least had uh, the motion base installed and another was still up on jacks. But uh, getting something like this checked out and certified is not something you do overnight. 
No, it's been a fascinating process to watch. All of the simulators are shipped in from Tampa, Florida to Pinnacus's headquarters where they are originally run. Uh, but there are huge uh, bolts drilled into the floor, mounting brackets, and then the legs come in from uh, Europe where they're produced and uh, the whole thing is mounted up. And then uh, it's fun to watch the initial trials where they take it to full motion where it's leaning in all kinds of awkward positions uh, and then to get in into them and, and put them to use. And finally, how much of the total training process is dependent on the simulator? Well, we have two parallel training programs. Fully 90% of our type training is done through Part 142 uh, simulator program operated by Higher Power Aviation. They're the 142 certificate holders. We do a small amount of in-aircraft training for FAA personnel, company employees, and some people that transition from the 142 to a Part 61 aircraft flight training program. Uh, but most of our Eclipse customers can expect to go through a 12 to 13 day Part 142 simulator program.